after a couple days in a row of sunshine and temperatures in the 60s, I even mean, record time today, we see a lot of changes moving forward. Light rainfall coming in early tomorrow, possibly seeing some thunderstorms late tomorrow. Strong wind gusts ahead right in between those, and temperatures do fall out of the 60s after tomorrow afternoon. So we get one more day of those 60s, and then things cool off a lot later on this week. As you look at the current situation on satellite and radar, pretty quiet out there. Uh, we have a, a warm front that's stalled out a little bit. We're behind that warm front, which is why we almost got to 70 degrees in spots this afternoon. Pretty quiet when it comes to radar, but note some showers starting to form in Missouri. They eventually move in towards us in the morning hours, and then the cold front comes through at night. That's what could trigger a few thunderstorms locally. So here is future track at 5 in the morning, seeing some spotty light rain shower activity, and that'll be the theme for the morning is very widely hit or miss showers. Future track really not showing a ton of rainfall. So if anything, it'll be a little drizzly at times or a light sprinkle and then some dry and cloudy weather. So you want the dodge raindrops quite as much in the morning, but still plan on uh, some shower recondition every so often. Later we go in the morning, uh, there may be one last little line of spotty showers and then we get into the afternoon and things take a break for a while. So we'll have a cloudy afternoon, some strong winds kicking in then, but we won't have the rain on top of it. Rain does return then into the evening hours, and by the time we get to about 9 30, 10 o'clock, about 24 hours from now, that's when we could see a line of spotty showers, downpours, and even some thunderstorms. Nothing severe here, but uh, we do have at least an uptick in the rain, and you may get a uh, quick downpour to hit you, and then things dry out after that. We get beyond midnight, we're looking at dry conditions going into Thursday. Rain totals about a quarter of an inch. Uh, so as you plan out at least the early half of your day, look for those on and off showers through the morning. Things get a little drier closer to noon. Afternoon features the strong winds, and then it's beyond 6 o'clock that we see the rainfall return, and about 10 o'clock when those scattered showers and thunder storms start to slide on through about the winds. Uh, they'll start out breezy in the morning, but then really get blustery into the afternoon. Gusts will be up to over 30 miles per hour and could even close in on 40 miles per hour or more throughout portions of the afternoon. And again, the strongest conditions lasting through about the evening. We get beyond tomorrow evening and things should start to settle down after that, expecting just a light breeze by the time we get to Thursday. Now that southerly wind direction, pay attention to that because east to west running roads will really catch the crosswind onto this one, so even some spots of Highway 20, uh, you may have to really hold on to that steering wheel with those 40 mile an hour going gusts on the way. As you look at temperatures, staying very warm tonight, 50s on the way, which is warmer than our usual daytime high temperature, so likely setting a record tonight for warmest low temperature, all thanks to that warmth blowing on in with those breezy winds, and again, some rainfall moves in late. Tomorrow afternoon, another day in the 60s, be the third day in a row with that, with on and off rain showers mainly early and late in the day. And again, the windy conditions sandwiched in between at 40 miles per hour. Uh, after all of this, we start to cool off. We get down into the 50s uh, for Thursday as well as Friday. Still pretty warm for this time of year. Friday night does drop below freezing, and then we go into the weekend with temperatures into the 40s with a lot of dry weather. Next week could feature some showers on Monday. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we may see possibly a rain snow mix Wednesday into Thursday as the weather cools off even more. Looking long term, looks like we hold on to that cooler weather more often than not, rather than the 60s like we just had, James and Lauren. The 60s today were great, but 50s and 40s, I'm in, right? No. <laughs> it's okay. Coming up, daring rest.